Well, we're here. We just finished putting the third coat of uh, Total Boat Wet Edge on Alcourt Sunfish, their 1965 uh, Wave Skipper's first sunfish. So we like to do from time to time. Let's just show you the state of affairs in the uh, carriage house. So we'll just start in here to see how we have things laid out. We put a lot of things on wheels so they can move around. We like uh, lightweight tables so we can configure the shop as needed. But what has kind of come and stayed in this one corner is uh, a few shelves. So on the bottom, we've got our, our picker kit from when we hook up a trailer and go to pick something up. It's got lines and bearing grease and straps and have some uh, set of magnetic trailer lights that come in handy. Of course, uh, duct tape and WD-40, of course. Shelf up from it's got a, a line whipping kit, a, a hardware rigging tackle box with mostly a sunfish bits in it a little bit of drascom hardware up above it we've got our sharpening wheel and we've got a little box full of alcourt parts and see some of the boats uh, we worked on up above it uh, screws rivet guns jigsaw so that stuff stayed there point out some shop safety features we've got uh, fire extinguishers on uh, both ends of the shops, so we grab it if we need it. Got to try to get as much light as in as we can. When we designed it, it's a 16 by 20 with the hardy plank on the outside and a hip roof. Hip roofs are great for uh, areas that are prone to high winds and hurricanes, which we are here. Got this little, these couple little shop tables, four by four, that have worked out real good because you can kind of just, when we're painting the boat, for example, we just kind of bump it with our hip and move it around the boat with us. Here's the keel for the uh, Pascagoula cat boat laying on the deck. We've got a few things, uh, a few measurements scratching out, scratched out on it, keel batten. Pull you on up here. These clamps move around, but their latest home has been here on the, just hanging on the shelf underneath one of the windows. That's some Alcourt parts in the back there. Uh, try to keep for shelving, we try to keep most of it high, but not too high. And then what we put up there, we lately we've been trying to keep it uh, lightweight. So there's some bits there. Most of the pegboard parts are packed up and uh, in the crate already on up to the Chesapeake, Virginia area. Got our little uh, garden stool, garden cart, and then we make these little little red stool. We've got. Plans to make those on the uh, small boat restoration log. Just look up uh, John Gardner shop stool. I think you'll find it there. If not, just post a question to us. These uh, double wide doors have come in real handy. They both open up, roll stuff in and out that way so we don't have to empty out the whole shop. Or in one case, they use the garden tractor to pull Barbashila in from the the big door end, and I just drove the tractor out the front part here at the French doors. Got more shelving upstairs, and then a little small shelf over here. Tool carts are mobile. We can configure them with what tools we need, run them around the shop or outside. Also, move them in case we got a big project that's taking up a lot of space. There's all our clamps that uh, Howie sent to us that are used when we pop open a seam, and we've got to get back in there. But uh, most of the tools live over here. We've collected some old uh, planes and some marking tools and a few other things along the way to go with the uh, newer tools. This uh, one tool trolley here, uh, starboard we call it, the other one's port, has uh, kind of a saw shelf on the bottom. Top shelf uh, took a, a chop saw for a while, but we uh, donated that, didn't want to move it. It was. It had been used for quite a while, but I had to change the blade. So it was only about 90 bucks when we bought it. So we thought, well, we'll just get a new one. So we're maybe one of the compound bevel. We'll do an upgrade when we get up to the uh, Tidewater area. This uh, one little bench here I made with wheels and it's pretty much stayed in the same spot since I put it there, but it, we can move it around as needed. Here's our shelf of uh, power tools up here, power hand tools. Got a orbital sander. 
the um, multi-blade oscillating tool. This is a little compact router. We've written articles about uh, two of these tools for Small Boats Magazine. This comes in real handy instead of pulling out the big, uh, the big guns, the big router. It's easier to handle on our smaller jobs. And if we're just doing a foot or so of an edge, we don't need a big, huge router for that. Jigsaw, jigsaw belt sander comes in pretty handy. Uh, a lot more times than uh, we might have thought. So when we're making uh, sawdust, we like to hook up this uh, dust collection system with the dust deputy into the shop vac and that keeps things pretty clean. But we designed the shop in mind so that when we needed to, we can we put a ramp on it so we can roll equipment outside and then take it onto the, uh, the wheel deck over here and do uh, do the dusty stuff outside and clean it up and roll it back inside for painting and other things like we did today. So Got some nice grapes and wisteria growing over the top of this to keep us cool during the summertime and then all the leaves fall off and let a little bit of sun here in the, in the wintertime. So like I say, we just we like to show this because some people are trying to set up their shop. It gives them some ideas and then y'all can share your comments and let us know what you like and how you got your space set up. So I hope y'all are having a great one. And we'll talk to you soon.